Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. Today's video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add Arbitrum to your MetaMask wallet and how to bridge funds from the Ethereum mainnet over to Arbitrum. This is purely an introductory tutorial. I'll be making a follow-up video on how to actually start using Arbitrum DeFi. With that being said, let's get into it. First thing we'll need to do is add Arbitrum to our MetaMask wallet. Go to chainlist.org to do this. And then you'll see a list here of all of the MetaMask compatible networks that you can add to your wallet. And we're gonna add Arbitrum. And it's important to note there is actually two Arbitrum networks. There's Arbitrum 1 and Arbitrum Nova. We're doing Arbitrum 1. Select Connect Wallet to connect your wallet to this website. Connect. Once you're connected, then you will click on Add to MetaMask for Arbitrum 1. It'll bring up a pop-up just like this that asks you to add a network with these details to your wallet. And you select Approve, and then it will add it to your wallet. The official Arbitrum bridge to bridge from Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum is bridge.arbitrum.io. And this works pretty well for bridging from Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum. The problem is that it takes seven days to bridge back. So personally, my bridge of choice is Synapse Protocol. That's synapseprotocol.com. And this lets you bridge a number of assets from Ethereum to Arbitrum, ETH, USDC, USDT, DAI, and just a whole bunch of others. And you can bridge back and forth pretty much instantly. It may take a minute or two. Uh, and then the really cool thing about this as well is that if you're bridging over USDC, for example, then they'll actually convert a small amount of that into ETH since you need ETH to pay for transactions on Arbitrum. So that way you don't need to worry about getting ETH over there first. That way you can pay for transactions once you're there. You just send over whichever token you want and then some of it gets converted for you. And to actually bridge over to Arbitrum, literally all you have to do is you select the token you want to bridge. Let's say USDC. You enter the amount. You select approve USDC and you'll be prompted to approve it in a MetaMask transaction. And then once you've done that, you'll just click this button again to bridge it over and then you'll again be asked to approve the transaction and then within i would say usually 30 seconds to two minutes it should appear in your metamask wallet on the arbitrum network and that's all there is to it if you want to actually start using arbitrum DeFi, check out my video linked in the description with instructions on how to do that if you enjoyed this content and want more like it be sure to like and subscribe and until next time this is dynamo DeFi.